My name's Paul Horn. This is Jessica Page. We're from a small company called IPM Technologies based just out of Melbourne. And um, we're here to talk about controlling pests using integrated pest management. We're entomologists and so mainly we work on insect pests but also cover mites, slugs and related things. And so we help farmers and agronomists to develop and implement IPM strategies in whatever crop they're interested in. IPM stands for Integrated Pest Management and what it involves is integrating the three control methods that are available to any farmer on any crop and that is biological controls, cultural controls and the use of pesticides. Cultural controls, that's a term that we use to describe management techniques that impact either the pest or the beneficial species. They could either favour the beneficial species, for example, providing a nectar source or habitat and shelter, or it can discourage the pest, for example, weed control to reduce pest populations. Sometimes the cultural controls can be the most important of the three. For example, resistant varieties, you know, if they're virus resistant or aphid resistant, uh, then no other control is required. But things like slug control, simple things like time of planting can be a major cultural control. Also weed control, variety selection, stubble management, all of those things can have an impact on both pest and beneficial numbers.